Ladies and gentlemen, it is that time of year. I am gonna do my WrestleMania 2018 predictions video. Alright, so let's not waste any time. Let's just head right into it. So far, uh, the pre-show matches, there's three. There's the Cruiserweights and both Battle Royales. So I'm guessing the Cruiserweight is probably going to kick everything off. Uh, you got Cedric Alexander and Mustafa Ali. This one's a little tough one. But I think I'm going to go with Mustafa Ali. Because, to be honest, I kind of like him. Even though I haven't been really keeping up with 205 Live. But I've been seeing like short videos online. And these guys have been killing it. Because Triple H took over. So, I think I'm going to go with Cedric Alexander. Right now. No. Mustafa Ali. Whoa. <laughs> but if Alexander wins, no. He deserves it. You know, I think he does too. But I just want Ali. So now, for the Battle Royales, let's do the women's first. Um, Jeez, that's the, that's the thing. We really don't know who's in it. Are we going to see some returns of legends in this Battle Royale? It's a possibility. Um, but my guess is probably going to be Becky Lynch. Why? Because uh, I give it to Becky Lynch. I like Becky Lynch. Uh, she deserves it. Uh, they really haven't been giving her, like, a lot, uh, pretty much lately. Uh, it would be great to see Becky Lynch win the first ever Women's Battle Royale at WrestleMania, and let her get a WrestleMania moment, and that will be great for Becky Lynch, you know? I think she deserves it, she's a great wrestler, she's talented, and yeah, definitely for her. Uh, Bailey and Sasha, if one of them two win, I'll be fine with that, you know, they both deserve it too. But mostly Bailey. But yeah. <laughs> now for the men's battle royale. This one is a tough one. I I really don't know. Uh <laughs> I don't know. Will Baron Corbin do it two time now? Become a two time battle royale winner? First time in history? Uh I don't know. It's a possibility, you never know. But I don't think they'll do that, of course. Uh maybe Ty Dillinger. No, Ty Dillinger deserves something, man. You know, he's a great talent. He's another great superstar. You know, I love Ty Dillinger. He's great. He's talented. You know, he's a perfect 10. Screw Vince McMahon. Hate not really liking the 10 thing. Um, but yeah, my pick will probably be Ty Dillinger. Got nothing wrong with that. <laughs> now let's get to the official main card of WrestleMania. <sighs> Oh boy, here we go. Um, there's a lot of matches. Let's get like the tag team matches out the way. So the Raw Tag Team Championships are on the line. Cesaro and Sheamus, the bar, are defending their tag team titles against Braun Strowman and a mystery partner. Who's the mystery partner? We don't know. I'm dying to find out. And I'm glad I don't know. I want to be excited at WrestleMania. And, you know, just get that like... Shocked moment. But who do I think it'll be? Uh, it's a possibility. It could be Samoa Joe. Um, people, words going around that it's Rey Mysterio. But I don't see Rey Mysterio doing it since he's hurt. Um, some are saying Batista. Um, maybe Bray Wyatt. I don't know. But I think my big push would be Samoa Joe. I would like that. I wouldn't mind it. Even though I would love to see Braun Strowman uh, just face the bar by himself and become the first ever guy to win the Raw Tag Team titles by himself. Uh, it's a possibility. It's the big show. You know, it is. Uh, it's a big possibility. But I don't know. You know. I could probably get behind that one too. You know, the big show. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> And I'm obviously going to pick Braun Strowman because, you know, the guy deserves it. He deserves a huge moment. So we'll, we'll see what happens with that. We got the return 
of Daniel Bryan at WrestleMania. Daniel Bryan is going to team up with Shane McMahon, taking on Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. If Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn lose this match, they are officially fired from SmackDown. And it's just crazy that we're going to see Daniel Bryan wrestle again. First of all, a return of his in-ring at WrestleMania and is at the Superdome where he became the underdog when he became the WWE World Heavyweight Champion. I will never forget that day and he made history. Danny Bryan was the man and he's returning at WrestleMania for the in-ring. So it should be a decent match, or I should say, it should be a good match. So, of course, I'm going with Shane McMahon and Daniel Bryan all the way on this one. But I think I have a feeling that Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn might win. But I would love to see Daniel Bryan get a, a win, especially at WrestleMania. Um, the SmackDown Tag Team titles are on the line. Now, this match, to be honest... I really wish it would have been a lot of match. If you really think about it. You got the Usos going up against the New Day and the Bludgeon Brothers. All these guys, if they were in a lot of match, they will destroy it. Like, they would do a great, fantastic job. They will do, they will put on a great, great match. If it was a lot of match. But, uh, I think either way, this match will still be a great uh, and entertainment match. But who I want to win, uh, I would love... I, I love the Usos. But I have a feeling the Bludgeon Brothers are going to get. So. I'm sorry. That's my pick. You know. Um, Alright. Since we're going on with tag teams. Ronda Rousey. Kurt Angle. Versus Triple H. And Stephanie McMahon. Gee. I wonder who's going to win this. <laughs> Obviously Ronda Rousey and Kurt Angle. Enough said. Pretty much. <laughs> that's all. Pretty much. Enough said. Um, let's get to the United States Championship. It's a fatal four-way match. You got Rusev, Bobby Roode, Jim Mahal, and Randy Orton. Randy Orton defending his title in the fatal four-way match. And I'm going to pick Bobby Roode. He's another one that I want to see get a WrestleMania moment. And he deserves it. And so does Rusev. I like Rusev. We could get behind the Rusev day, you know. Everybody's going to go crazy at WrestleMania for Rusev Day. And that that would be a great push for Rusev right there at WrestleMania. Winning the United States title. I wouldn't have a problem with that. So it's either Rusev and Bobby Roode. But me, mostly, mainly, it's the push for Bobby Roode. <laughs> Since that, now we got the Intercontinental Championship on the line. And a triple threat match. And I'm excited for this match. The Miz defending the IC title against Seth Rollins and Finn Balor. Are we going to see the Demon King at WrestleMania? I don't know. I doubt it. I really wish we would. Because, seriously, on the grand stage, Finn Balor has the Demon coming out with different paint. Like, oh, he should come out as the Demon King. But I doubt it. You know, but, you know, what are you going to do? Who do I want to win? Finn Balor, of course. Uh, you know, Finn Balor deserves the title since WWE's not giving him his rematch for the Universal title. So I'll give it to him right now. Uh, if Seth Rollins wins, I would not have a problem with that. That would be awesome. Uh, it would be great to see Seth Rollins become the IC champion uh, first time. You know, that'd be great. Uh, so yeah, those those are my pick uh, in that, but mostly Finn Balor. Uh, next, next, uh, I'm going to save the heavyweight championships for last. Okay, are we going to see The Undertaker at WrestleMania? We don't know. We don't know. Is The Undertaker going to show up? We'll see. Uh, so this is what I see happening. John Cena comes out. And... Some, something's going to happen. Guaranteed something's going to happen. But. I don't expect the dead man. Undertaker. I'm expecting. The badass Undertaker. But. I don't think he's going to be. 
the Limp Bizkit, you know, keep rolling, rolling, Undertaker. It's probably going to be the Kid Rock version, which I have no problem with. I would love to see Kid Rock perform Undertaker's theme song and just come out on the motorcycle and let Undertaker finish off as the Badass Undertaker. And if they do Badass Taker versus John Cena, I'm going for Badass Undertaker all the way. And since it's at the, at the Superdome, where the Undertaker lost his streak, you know, it'll be it'll be cool to see it and let him retire after that. Like seriously, you know, as much as I love Undertaker, you know, the poor guy, I think his time is up. So maybe next year Hall of Fame, we'll see. <laughs> uh, now let's get to all the championship matches. Um, we got the Raw Women's Championship on the line. We got Alexa Bliss defending her title against Nia Jax. I'm going for Nia Jax all the way on this one. You know, she deserves it. Hands down, she does. And, you know, I think Nia Jax will be a good champion. There we go. <laughs> now for the SmackDown Women's Championship, Charlotte versus Asuka. We all know what's going to happen. If you guys think Carmella is going to come out and cash in her title in Nia Jax match or this match... Either way, it's not going to be a successful cash-in. Because word's been going around that she's going to lose the briefcase and lose. And she, apparently she's okay with it. Then what was the whole point of the first ever Women's Money in the Bank ladder match? <laughs> um, so, yeah. Asuka is going to win. <laughs> Simple, easy. You know, her streak is not going to end for like a while. So, expect that to happen. Now, let's get to the heavyweight titles. We're going to go with Brock Lesnar versus Roman Reigns. I'm sorry, this ain't my main event. My main event is these two. <laughs> um, so, obviously, Roman Reigns is going to win, get the Universal title off of Brock Lesnar. Because Brock Lesnar, after WrestleMania, is going back to UFC. So, we knew that for a whole year. And that's that's pretty much done. Now, the real main event of WrestleMania, AJ Styles defending his WWE World Heavyweight Championship against Shinsuke Nakamura. Ah, <laughs> uh, this match I see stealing the show. Man, as much as I love AJ Styles and I would love to see him retain to have like a big moment at WrestleMania. But I believe Shinsuke Nakamura is going to win the title. And he deserves it. And Nakamura is going to have his moment at WrestleMania in New Orleans. It's going to be great. So those are my pick, guys. <laughs> That's my WrestleMania picks. Uh, I don't think I'm missing anything. Uh, pretty sure I got through it all. If I'm missing anything, then oh well. <laughs> Alright guys, thank you guys so much for watching my WrestleMania 2018 predictions video. Let me know down in the comments below, what is your pick? Who are you going for? Who are you rooting for at WrestleMania? Let me know down in the comments below. I'm curious to know. Alright guys, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out to sweet. <laughs>